Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished up 10, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's down 5.5. You can expect lots of volatility, folks, the next 15 minutes. Why? we got Facebook coming out with numbers any second, as well as Microsoft. Both Facebook and Microsoft, folks, have taken out their highs in session. Facebook looks like it's a monster ABC structure on the way up. Uh, we're 223 right now in Facebook, so I do expect you're going to see good numbers out of Facebook. Uh, Microsoft... Uh, bottom line, uh, didn't have the uh, amount. Oh, look at this. It closed it. It closed it. It, it did get the volume. It did. And so Microsoft, you very well could have another ABC structure up too. Microsoft's up 258 right now, trading 168. But what I do expect we're going to see is that we're going to, uh, you're going to see some good numbers. That is going to take the NDX 100. If we go over to the NDX and take a look at that NDX, you're going to see the NDX right now. I uh, had came down hard and fast. That being said, guess what? Uh, this is going to go up and test the highs. Right now, the NDX closed at 91.01. That's the cash NDX. 92.72 is the number. That's like a another 170 points up. And if we go take a look at the uh, NDX futures, you're going to see those futures right now. They're only up $2. You can expect those things uh, to do a decent pop. They, now, they sold those off coming right into the close today, which is you know pretty wild. Uh, especially for what, what I'm saying right now. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out in the next 20 minutes. Gold, gold caught a bid as soon as the Fed finished their meeting and said, you know, status quo out here, no rate hikes. They're still worrying about, of course, the coronavirus now. They're worrying about a slowdown uh, in uh, China. Uh, what did that do? That took gold up, that took silver up. Notes and bonds, they've been up all day long. We had the 10-year note up 14 ticks, trading 131.01. The 30-year bond up a full point, plus one tick at 162.11. Uh, the 10-year right now got under 1.6 today, folks. So you're at 1.58. When we actually bring up the chart of the 10-year, it looks to me like you're going to go back to all-time lows, which is 1.39. And if you break 1.39, guess what? We're going to be basically uh, going down to like about uh, one-tenth of 1% in the positive. That's where the price projection takes you, which is pretty wild. King dollar. King dollar up 72 ticks, 98.092. Now, if we do look at King dollar, what you are going to see is that King Dollar didn't hold price once again. Um, you know, 98.098. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back here and visit us tomorrow morning, 8.30.